So this is problem number four on centroid of the plane figure. Okay. So we have to find the centroid for the given figure here. So draw the reference axis. Reference x-axis and this is the reference y-axis. Okay, uh, and it is divided. The whole figure is, is divided into three rectangles. Sometimes this dotted line will not be given in the figure. If it is not given, you have to draw this dotted line and you have to divide the figure into three rectangles. I take I have taken this as rectangle number one and this as rectangle number two. And this has rectangle number three. Okay, so when you check the symmetry about any axis, okay, it is not symmetric about either x-axis and the y-axis. Okay, it is not symmetric about either x-axis and the y-axis. Means uh, if I draw central axis, no. If I take this as central x-axis and this as central y-axis, the x-axis is not dividing the figure into two equal parts, and y-axis is also not dividing the figure into Two equal parts, so it is unsymmetric about both the x, both the axes. Therefore, we have to find both the x bar and the y bar. Okay, to find the x bar, what is the formula we have? We have the formula as x bar is equal to x bar is equal to sigma a x by sigma a, and to find the y bar, we have the formula as sigma a y sigma a y by Sigma a. Okay. So we need area. We need area. X values and a x. We need area y values and a y. So write the table including all these terminologies. Component area x y a x and a y. Okay. So here the dimensions are given in terms of millimeter. So here mm square area. Mm is the Unit of x, unit of y, mm, mm cube, and mm cube. Okay. Now you write formula for all the rectangles. I'll take G1 as centroid of rectangle one. So this distance will be d by two, and d by two. For rectangle 2, if I take G2 as centered of rectangle 2, distance for x bar is what? D by 2 and B by 2 from the side of the rectangle. For rectangle 3, if I take G3 as centered, D by 2 and B by 2. Okay. Now we will do the calculations for each and every rectangle i'll take the first rectangle now rectangle number 1 area of rectangle is b into d width of rectangle 1 is 50 mm and depth of rectangle 1 is 300 mm 50 into 300 okay 50 into 300 it is 15000 mm square 15,000 mm square and coming to the x value for rectangle 1 okay means distance of this g1 from y axis y axis it is b by 2 b by 2 so b is 50 by 2 25 mm and coming to the y value for rectangle 1 y value for rectangle 1 means distance of g1 from Reference x axis, it is d by 2. d by 2, overall depth is 300 by 2, 150 mm. Then we we'll calculate the x and y value for rectangle 2 now. Area is b into d for rectangle 2. What is the width? Width is 150 mm and depth is also 150 mm. 150 by 150. 150 by 150 uh, the answer is 
And coming to the y value for rectangle 2, the distance of g2 from reference x axis, x axis, we will directly d by 2, d by 2, uh, it is 150 by 2, we will get the answer as 75 mm. Then for rectangle 3, rectangle 3, b into d, width of rectangle 3 is 100 mm, depth is 200 mm, 100 into 200, 200, 20,000. 20,000. Coming to the x value for rectangle 3. Nothing but distance of G3 from reference y axis. So, this is the x value for rectangle 3. So, here. So, this distance. Distance of G3 from reference y axis. This whole distance. We want distance of G3 from its side. It is B by 2. So, it is 50 plus 150 plus b by 2. So, same calculation I will write here. 50 plus 150 plus b by 2. Okay. So, 200 plus width of rectangle 3 is 100 mm. 250 mm. 250 mm. When coming to the y value, distance of G3 from reference x axis directly d by 2 this directly d by 2. D by 2. Uh, overall depth is 200. 200 by 2, we get the answer as 100. Now calculate AX and AY means 15,000 into 25. It is 3,75,000. Then here it is uh, 22,50,000. So here it is uh, 28 lakhs 12,500 16 lakhs 87,500 here it is 50 lakhs here it is 20 lakhs okay now calculate total area sigma a is equal to 57500 okay then calculate sigma ax value it is 81 lakh 87500 and sigma ay is equal to 59 lakhs 37000 500. Apply in this formula, you will get the x bar and the y bar. Sigma ax is 81 lakh 87,500 divided by 57,500. The answer that we get is 142.4 mm. And y bar is equal to sigma ay 59 lakhs 37,500 divided by 7500. The answer is 103.26 millimeter. 103.26 millimeter. Okay. This completes the problem. Thank you.